Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we have to discuss the types of all air distribution system part one. So let's start. Now see here, all air distribution system may be classified as follow. First, single duct constant volume single zone system. Second, single duct constant volume multi zone system third single duct multi zone vav system variable air volume system and then finally dual duct constant volume or vav system okay so this all air distribution system may be classified as four types which i have shown you so now we have to discuss this one by one so in this session i will discuss about single duct constant volume single zone system what is this so see uh, i have told you that all air distribution may be classified at four types in that first is single duct constant volume single zone system what is this you can see your image is also given i will explain you about this image first of all see what is single duct constant volume and single zone system See, the simplest and most common of the all air central system is a single duct constant volume single zone system. In this system, there is only one supply duct through which either hot air or cold air flows, but not simultaneously. Okay, so here we are using single duct to supply the condition air or hot air as per your requirement. So that is why this system is called as a single duct system, correct? But remember, here we are supplying the hot air or cold air, but not simultaneously. In at the time you can supply the hot air or otherwise cold air. Okay. Next is it is called as a constant volume system, as the volumetric flow rate of supply air is always maintained constant that is why this is called as a constant volume so it is a single zone system by as the see it is a single zone system as the control is based on temperature and humidity ratio measured at a single point okay so this is all about single duct now you can see as shown in the figure uh, this outdoor air or OA in short this outdoor air for ventilation and recirculated air means written air are mixed in the required proportion using the damper and the mixed air is made to flow through a cooling and dehumidifying coil a heating coil and a humidifier using a, an insulated ducting and a supply fan you can see here so as the air flow through this coil the temperature and moisture content of the air are brought to the required values then this air is supplied to the condition space where it meets the building cooling or heating requirements okay the written air leave the condition space see so the written air leaves the condition space a part of it is recirculated and remaining part is vented to the atmosphere and here a thermostat you can see inside the room we have placed the thermostat so thermostat senses the temperature of air in the condition space and control the amount of cooling or heating provided in the coil so that the supply air temperature can be controlled as per requirement and then here only in this space here we are using the humidity state so this humidity state measure the humidity ratio in the condition space and control the amount of water vapor added in the humidifier and hence the supply air humidity ratio as per requirement okay so this is all about single duct constant volume single zone system now see here the advantages of single duct single zone constant volume system so there are many advantage of this system we have to see that so in that first advantage is written uh, the primary advantage of this system single duct 
single zone constant volume system is simplicity of design why because simple uh, here we are using single duct only to supply the condition air into the room and we are taking return air also from the room by single duct only single uh, return duct so if you compare this system to all other systems so the design of this system single duct single zone and constant volume system is simple now the next is single zone system are the most basic and least complex of central all air system next advantage of this system is low first cost among all types of system so the initial cost of this system is low as compared to all other system because i have told you here we are using single duct to supply the condition air and we are taking return air from the room by using the single duct only so here less duct is required okay so that is why the initial cost is low but running cost if you compare uh, running cost so running cost is high why because see here the volume means air flow rate is constant whatever fixed amount of air uh, suppose in one zone you you need to supply 1000 cfm air so that much of air you need to supply you cannot vary the air flow rate okay so the running cost is high and easiest to maintain also okay so this is all about the advantages of this single duct single zone constant volume system now see the disadvantage of this system is what so the disadvantages of single duct single zone constant volume system is what so in that first is it can effectively condition only one zone yes because it is a single zone na? you can condition only one zone second this is only a disadvantage when improperly applied so because control is achieved at the ahu air handling unit single zone system are not easily modified to serve multiple zone so by using this system you can serve single zone only okay so this is the disadvantages of single duct single zone constant volume system now here you can see the application of single duct single zone constant volume system where we can use this system here some application is given first is what where you can use space with uniform loads such as large open area with small external loads example is written here the theaters auditorium departmental stores etc so if you are providing air conditioning in this type of space so better is to prefer this system and uh, you can use this system for small spaces requiring precision control such as laboratories then multi single zone system for large areas for, for large area better is to use uh, multiple single zone we have to use the multiple single zone system for large area okay so this is the application of this system so now we are going to discuss about classification of all air distribution system so if you remember in all air distribution system part one already we have discussed about first uh, means single duct constant volume and single zone system already we have discussed okay now the second one is what second is single duct constant volume multi zone system okay first of all uh, we have discussed single duct constant volume and single zone system okay now in this session we are going to discuss about single duct constant volume multi zone system okay in this figure you can see here why we are telling this this is a single duct 
so see because with the help of this single duct only here we are supplying condition air to each and every zone by using single duct okay and the air which we are taking from the room return air so for that also we are taking single uh, return air duct okay so this system is called as a single duct and why constant volume because here the air flow rate for each and every zone which you are supplying we need to supply constant air flow rate okay then multi zone system now here we have a multi zone system so we have to discuss that first of all see what is this so this system is used for very large building such as office building etc with several zones of different cooling or heating requirement it is a economically not feasible to provide separate duct for each zone okay here we are using a single duct only for each and every zone for such cases multi zone system are suitable that uses reheat to control the comfort condition in each zone reheat system you can see here in this image here we are using the reheat coil so this reheat system consists of some type of heating device usually an electric strip heater that is located downstream of the air handling unit near each zone okay now you can see this figure below shows a single duct multi zone system with terminal reheat coil you can see here here reheat coil is there so in this system all the air is cooled and dehumidify for summer or heated and humidify for winter to a given minimum or maximum temperature and humidity ratio so a constant volume of this air is supplied to the reheat coil of each zone in the reheat coil the supply air temperature is increased further to a required level depending upon the load on that particular zone so this is achieved by a zone thermostat which control the amount of reheat and hence the supplier temperature okay now see the advantages of single duct multi zone constant volume system what is the advantage of this system so in that first advantage is written this system relatively small space requirement second excellent temperature and humidity control over a wide range of zone load next proper ventilation and air quality in each zone is maintained as the supply air amount is kept constant under all condition okay so that is why this system is called as a single duct multi zone constant volume system because here the air flow rate is constant okay now see the disadvantage of this system is what so in that first is expensive to operate if you compare both of them first types which i have shown you single duct single zone constant volume system so this system expensive to operate second these systems are energy inefficient as the system involves simultaneous use of cooling and reheat okay for this reason use of reheat system is strictly regulated by most energy codes and standards so now here you can see the application of single duct multi zone constant volume system is what so in that first is in this system zone or space control for area of unequal loading okay is possible now see the area with high latent loads in that area you have to use this uh, single duct multi zone constant volume system and heating or cooling of perimeter area with different exposure so in that we have to use this system so this is all about all uh, types of all air distribution system part 1 so the remaining we have to discuss it next part so i hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one